this is an international English language testing system held in Indonesia on September 28th, 2023. The examiner's code is 217. My name is Tatiana and I'm currently with candidate number one. May I know your name? My name is Andrian Permadi. You can call me Andrian. Now we will begin the IELTS speaking test. Let's talk about your hometown. Do you live in a town or a city? I live in a city which is called Bandung. Bandung is one of the most famous cities in Indonesia. It is famous for its cuisine, culinary, and also various tourism sites. Do you like living there? Uh, definitely, yes. Bandung is the perfect place for me to live in based on several reasons. One of the reasons is its weather. It has the perfect weather. It is not too cold nor too warm. It's the best weather in my perspective. Second of all, I am fond of the people in Bandung. They are laid back, easygoing, and fun to talk to. Do many tourists visit your area? Actually, yes. There are many tourists coming from around the globe. And basically, they come to Bandung to experience the nature that Bandung provides. As I previously mentioned, Bandung has a variety of tourism attraction, which focus on um, attraction related to nature. Okay. Do you think your hometown will change much in the future? Yes, I do believe it will change a lot in the future. Um, it will change in terms of the number of people living in Bandung. I am expecting and also predicting that there will be more people stay in Bandung due to the enormous amount of opportunities provided for people living in Bandung, one of which is job opportunities. Second of all, one of the change will be related to the number of housings. I could say that there will be more housings and also buildings being built in Bandung in the near future. Okay. Now let's talk about music. What kind of music do you like? To be honest, I love a vast range of music. You can say that I like rock, alternative rock. I like hip hop. I like pop music, so on and so forth. In conclusion, I love music that are easy listening uh, and I'm avoiding music that are too sophisticated and too complex, such as rap. So easy listening music is the type of music that I am fond of. Okay. What do you like about it? I, I love it, as I previously mentioned, because it is easy to listen to. Um, so I mainly listen to music while I'm working or studying, for example, and I need music that can calm me down or make me focus. Okay. Um, are your friends interested in the same kind of music? My close friends, yes, they are in line and interested in the same type of music that I also like. And nonetheless, my co-workers have a very different type of music. They love local music, which is called dangdut. And the majority of people in Indonesia love this type of music because it is good to dance with. So, yeah. Okay. Part two. Let's proceed to the next part of the test. In this part of the test, you will have one to two minutes to give a short talk based on a topic from a card. Prior to the talk, you will have one minute to write on a note. I will now show you the cue card on the screen. Now you will have one minute to write on your note. You okay. can start now. Okay, thank you. All right, now you will have one to two minutes to give a short talk. You may start now. Yes, so I would like to describe and to provide further details related to a possession that I could not live without. It is actually my cell phone. My cell phone has become an essential part of my life as I use it not only to communicate with others, but I also utilize it to make content and to manage various online businesses that I have. For instance, related to content creation, I still do some video editing um, for my YouTube channel using an application on my cell phone. Other content creators have mentioned that it's quite amazing and in the same time funny to know that I still use my cell phone to make content, whereas they regularly use the state-of-the-art and sophisticated video production services. Um, moreover, in regards to my current cell phone, I 
got it last year when I had my birthday, to be more specific. It was a present from my wife as she knew that I needed more than one cell phone for my work as an instructor at the university and as a content creator on YouTube. Frankly speaking, C doesn't like, basically despises and consistently complains regarding the time that I've spent with my cell phone. Nonetheless, she's a supportive partner. Um, thus, she still gave me a brand new cell phone for my work. Um, furthermore, I use my cell phone almost all the time. I use it at work, at home, when I'm driving, <laughs> uh, so on and so forth. Although I strongly do not recommend anyone to use a cell phone while driving for safety reasons. And I keep advising myself as well to stop and to end this bad habit of mine of using cell phone while driving uh, once and for all. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. We have talked about a possession that you have. Now let's talk on a, on a similar topic related to money and technology in general. Do you think some people spend too much money on things they don't need? Yes, I do believe that some people spend a large number of money and spend them on things that they don't need. And this happens due to several reasons. Firstly, I believe that people nowadays buy things um, based on their feelings or emotion. We can say we have compulsive buyers and there are a huge number of companies taking advantage of this situation in which they make different type of marketing to ensure that people buy based on their emotion and not with their logical thinking. So yes, they do spend too much money on things they don't need because they are be being taken advantage by various companies so that people in large number would buy um, various products that they actually don't need, but based on the persuasion of marketing from different companies. Okay. Is it worth trying to repair things which break rather than throwing them away? It, it is definitely worth the time and effort and energy to repair things um, rather than just throwing it away. We can gain various advantages and benefits by repairing things. First, we can definitely save our money as by repairing things, we will not be encouraged to buy new products that actually um, are not the main priorities. So we can do repair things. Second of all, it is good also for our um, mental health, if I may say so. Uh, people tend to buy things to suit themselves or to relieve their stress. I believe fixing things is also considered to be a type of therapy for people in general so that they are able to restore things and it feels good for them. So I believe that it is good for their mental health. Do you think technology has made our lives easier or more stressful and why? To my best knowledge, technology has made our lives easier due to several reasons. First and foremost, technology has made my life easier because I can do work faster. I can study more effective, so on and so forth. For example, I use my laptop for a vast range of purposes. I basically do all of my work on my laptop and all of my research, so on and so forth, using my laptop. My laptop has been a very useful device to ensure that I am able to finish all of my work and other goals as fast as I can. Um, second of all, it is it makes our life easier because not only that we can save time, but also we can save our energy. So technology has been a very um, positive aspect in our life in my perspective. Okay. And the test is done. Okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you, you did a great job. Oh my goodness. Uh, like 10 out, 10 out of 10. The uh, only no, crit no. critique that I have for you, if it's, mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's worth saying is, um, when you're like, you can say that also another option, you could say, you could, you say, could say that I like, country right. music instead of, or you could say, I like this music. Um, <laughs> and instead of, um, you said it's, um, this type of music is good to dance with. It's a good type of music to, <laughs> to, to dance to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the only other, th other, um, when you, 
say, um, like you said, it make, I would say it makes. It makes. And, yes. some, and then um, you say, you said bias when you could say, when you should say uh, buy. So just being careful with adding the S on, because sometimes uh, the plural, but amazing. Very, very good. Wawancara IELTS Speaking atau IELTS Speaking Mock Test tadi dibantu oleh seorang native speaker dari Amerika yang merupakan tutor dari Camly. Nah, apa itu Camly? Camly adalah sebuah platform yang bisa membantu kamu untuk belajar bahasa Inggris, khususnya untuk meningkatkan English Speaking Skill kamu. Salah satu latihan berbicara bahasa Inggris yang bisa kamu lakukan adalah dengan menjawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan pada IELTS Speaking Test dengan English Native Speakers dari berbagai negara di seluruh dunia. Hal ini dimungkinkan karena Kimli memberikan kamu akses 24 jam untuk bisa berlatih berbicara bahasa Inggris dan meningkatkan English Speaking Skill kamu dengan Native Speakers secara real-time menggunakan video chat atau video conference. Kamu bisa belajar secara eksklusif menggunakan Kimli karena Kimli menyediakan kelas private dengan Native Speakers. Uniknya, kamu bisa memilih untuk belajar dengan native speakers atau tutor Camly yang kamu inginkan sesuai dengan kebutuhan kamu. Saya pun telah belajar dengan Camly cukup lama untuk berlatih menjawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan pada IELTS Speaking Test. Jadi, langsung saja klik link yang ada di bawah deskripsi video dan pin komen video ini agar kamu bisa mendapatkan satu dolar yang bisa kamu gunakan untuk 30 menit pembelajaran bahasa Inggris dengan native speakers dan juga tes penempatan dari Camly. Kamu juga bisa menggunakan link saya dan kode promo saya untuk mendapatkan tambahan 15 menit pembelajaran setelah kamu menyelesaikan trialnya. Ada lagi nih, kalau kamu ingin belajar untuk meningkatkan English speaking skill kamu pada level yang lebih tinggi, dan agar kamu bisa mempersiapkan lebih baik lagi untuk menghadapi IELTS Speaking Test, langsung saja klik link yang ada di bawah ini, karena Camly memberikan diskon hingga 50% untuk paket 12 bulan. My name is Andrian, and I'll see you around.